So what's unique about uh, VR training, especially uh, the Apex Officer VR system that we got, is it allows the officers to really interact with um, somebody in crisis or different scenarios in different environments. So they really get to develop de-escalation skills, de-escalation techniques, um, having a conversation with someone, um, all that we couldn't do prior unless we were doing live person-on-person -person training. Um, the old systems that we used to have were just uh, static screens that didn't talk back to you and they were pre-recorded. So there was no interaction with the officer. So this allows much more flexibility. We can tailor the scenario and the training to what the officer is actually saying. So if we want to drag more out of them, we can. Um, if they're giving us everything doing right, then we'll just do everything right and, and comply with what they're saying. Hey buddy, how you doing? Did you just have, did you have baseball practice? You've got a bat in your hand. Do you know what you're going to use the bat for? No, I don't, but I do want you to go like EMO. All right, I'm going to take a step back. That way, make you feel better. Uh, can you put the bat down, please? So de-escalation training is something that we've always done. We've just never labeled it as de-escalation. So it's actually gaining someone's trust. It's actually taking the time to let them settle. Um, you can't stay in a heightened uh, sense of awareness all the time. So when someone's upset and angry, um, it's really just about creating some space, giving them some distance, trying to engage them, get them to see you as a person and not the uniform, and come to a solution that the two of you can agree upon giving them the time to settle down and come down off of their, their agitated state. Real life, you can only replicate in real life. It's, it's gotta be um, something that's off the cuff. We don't know what we're going into in a real life situation, so we're not dealing with a pre-scripted scenario, which is what a lot of that pre-recorded training was that we had before. This here allows us to interact with the trainee, and then we, as senior officers and trainers and instructors, have been in these situations before, so we know what they're saying. We know what kind of conversations we've had in the past with them. So we're looking for certain key elements to come out of that, and we can drag that out of the officers. So we actually force the officers to engage like they would on the street. And because it's not one of us standing there, it's actually an avatar that looks like somebody completely different. They don't associate it as, oh, that's my buddy that I work with all the time. So there's more realism, it's a different person. The last thing we want to do is, is take a life or pull a trigger and try to stop someone. Um, 26 years I've been doing the job, I've not had to shoot anybody. So that, so that, that, that to me is, is the best accomplishment in the world. So you go on all these high-risk calls, that's not what we want to do. We want just an end to the scenario that goes with everybody being safe and going home safe or going to jail safe or whatever, whatever it might be. The outcome is everyone's safe, nobody's harmed. That's what we're ultimately trying to get to.